hello everyone today i am making this video because uh, some of you uh, has or some of you uh, get confused uh, about the lecture notes and video so i just want to just erase your confusions and told you so for which lecture notes you will get um, the video and so moreover in the description box of this video i going to put the link of that video with the page number of the lecture notes so here we go Le we start the uh, our video recording in youtube with our lecture note 5 so in this lecture note 5 so the first you can see the concept of linear transformations and linear mapping so linear transformations and linear mappings are discussed in your class so this is not recorded in any of the video so from then from where i have uh, recorded so go over here so this is your page one next to go to so in this way so here we go so from this page page number three you can find the kernel of a linear mapping from here basically i recorded the video but uh, before uh, for completeness uh, so for the complete next i just repeat some the uh, i repeat the concept of linear mappings again in the first part of the first video so the kernel of linear mapping start over here the kernel of the linear mapping in lecture one so in lecture one you will find that kernel of linear mapping uh, so, so it start from over here and over the video we discuss about the kernel of the linear mapping and discuss about the concept with a problem but i do not repeat the same problem i may repeat i just do some uh, different problems which is not in this note but do not uh, get confused by that so they work similar type so we discuss an uh, example which not maybe not in this note but the, that's uh, one of the good examples uh, to find the kernel of the mapping so in so if you go so uh, more or less all the thing are discussed in kernel of the linear mapping uh, in lecture one in lecture two basically i discuss again a few examples so in lecture kernel of the linear mapping lecture two i discuss a few more example where we are finding the kernel of the mapping so where i think i discuss this example five moreover i discuss the example six which is a very good examples and this is not a trivial example so i discuss that example in lecture uh, in lecture video two so it's in your page four of lecture note five so if i go in this way i think you will find uh, in your notes also the same note basically because they are same note you will find uh, uh, all the parts over there so also i discuss some important results on that video on this video lecture two but i just uh, do not just i just leave this result to one that this the kernel of t is a non-empty sets i just uh, do not uh, do that so instead of results one i start from here so in results two is in our video lecture results one and i start from here so it's about the concept of subspace so it is in your page five of lecture note five so results two is our results one in the video and also we talk about the results 3 is then results 2 in our video so is the concept of injective mapping and i ended the video over here by remark something 
so always remember that we cannot just go like as an parrot uh, just repeating the whole notes because I am a human so I have to uh, do the lectures in a uh, in a m defined manner not exactly in the note manner so I, ha I am totally incapable of uh, repeating all the notes see, exactly the same words I have to do in some different way so more or less they are the same thing so in results 3 uh, is the result 2 in the video so you will find that out but here <coughs> I am sorry for that so next what we do in lecture note 3 I just do some mathematics which are not in any of the lecture notes I solve some problems I discuss basically discuss some problems in uh, video lecture uh, 3 where I talking about the concept of linear mapping and its injectivity and why more or less solve two problems over there so that are not in your lecture notes but it is in this video so because the sake of completeness I have to do all the thing so you will not find the exactly the same words in our lecture notes so lecture uh, video 3 is for discussing some important examples so next uh, go to the image of the linear mapping it is in your page 6 so I discuss about the concept of image of the linear mappings and respective results of the subspace and uh, image uh, and the results 4 and 5 are all discussed in a different way in basically they are the same things you will find in our lecture 4 image of the linear mappings you will find all the concept of image of the linear mappings and I not only over here you will not find uh, a good examples only you will find a few examples but I repeat more examples over that video so in that video uh, not only we discuss the lecture uh, notes be, uh, example but also I discuss a few more example to make you more clear to you so I just make more details of the lecture notes in this lecture video so you will find that the image of the linear mappings in this lecture 4 you will find all the concept of lecture uh, about the image of the mappings uh, and uh, that's the in our lecture number 4 so it's going in this way so next is uh, the uh, nullity and rank of the linear mappings that's this concept so it is in your page 8 where I ended the notes actually so the concept whole concept and with example uh, here I do not repeat the example because we are more or less have the same examples but because I want to make sure that you understand the whole concept so I repeat more, exa more examples in the rank nullity theorem in our lecture 5 so I uh, so forget for so I just do not uh, go to over, uh, to look over this video here I discuss more and more problems about the rank nullity theorems and I verify some rank nullity theorem over here so that's a uh, whole concept you will find in lecture note 5 so now go to the where the, the here we ended the lecture note 5 but here from there we start get the lecture note 6 so you can see that lecture note 6 about the matrix representation of linear mappings now go to the video so if you find if you go to the playlist vector space 1 module 2 you will obviously find the lecture 6 about matrix representation of a linear mapping in this in this video I discuss the concept of linear mapping with examples so the lecture note 6 you will go page 1 and page all are discussed in basically maybe in different order but they are all discussed in the video so they are all over there 
so these are uh, these are examples are discussed in maybe uh, video one or maybe in video so that's a discuss in video one and video two so before this so sorry video six and seven so be in video six and seven we work with more and more examples for uh, to represent a linear mapping by a matrix so i hope you understand all these things so here in the lecture notes you will find the section or uh, in the page five of lecture note six you will find uh, some important exercise which i do the all the exercise are basically discuss here you find the examples what we have left before uh, in the lecture notes i repeat that example i just do the examples and all the things some ex important exercise uh, maybe some ex exercise are, rep uh, are left to you for a uh, homework and some are already discussed in the uh, videos all in videos I, I covered all such examples uh, more or less I covered all such examples some example maybe you will find I left to you for uh, do exercise and great uh, grief about this concept so I think now you understand uh, the whole the road maps to read the uh, de read this section of vector space 1 module 2 so if you have any confusions now just comment me below in the comment box of this video so i hope you understand and thank you for watching